All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another Black Desert video. So today I wanted to talk about something special. The UI, the options, and everything in this game for your UI. Because as a new player, you're probably overwhelmed and you don't know what to do. And by default, they have everything on, which is kind of annoying. But there's a lot of settings in this game that I wanted to talk to you guys about. As well as some people have asked me what kind of settings I use. So I figured we'd just get two in one. And so yeah, guess what? When you're a new player, what you don't need to see is all these alerts of things being sold and everything. So that's kind of annoying. And I just wanted to show you everything. So first and foremost, let's talk about the uh, display and performance settings. Because that is pretty big. If, especially if you're a PC gamer. You want to see all this. So... A lot of these things are actually duplicates, so like you can see the same settings and performance and display, which is kind of weird, but it is what it is. Um, for the most part, I would say the graphics and textures I obviously are personal preference, what you want to play with. And you guys have probably heard the meme in this game, FPS equals DPS. In most games, that would be a meme more or less but in this game it actually is important because like the higher your fps you could do more skills and basically you're doing more damage by being able to cast that extra skill within the time and obviously lag and not ping factor into it in every game anything you do online but especially bdo so anyway so i play on high and very high with fxaa I used to play remastered because I think it looks nice and obviously d graphics do matter in games and a lot of people say oh I don't care I can play with low settings and everything and yeah I get that but like if you have a like high-end computer guess what you want to do play it on high settings right and so that's why when you see a lot of other streamers and youtubers and they look like they're playing on RuneScape graphics with low everything it's because they're PvPers and the extra FPS, it does matter. So I think that, like, it, depending on what you're watching or what you're doing, it does matter. So what I wanted to do as a content creator myself was find a balance between being able to obviously record videos and have it not look like a potato quality and also having a little bit of performance for myself when I'm actually doing something. So this is the balance for me, um, and then Remastered is, realistically, I don't think it's that bad. I just think it's a little too bright for me, and obviously you could tweak everything. But overall, I just think it's, like, really bright. And Ultra is obviously for all the people who just like taking screenshots and, um, like, montage videos of everything, so that's that. Um, FXAA, TAA... I personally think FXA looks better. TAA is just kind of like the smoothing and, you know, I, it looks like this lower quality, which kind of is. Or you could turn it off. You could see, like, a, an image between the difference between everything. And realistically, um, I think this one just looks the best. Uh, for performance-wise, having more NPCs on screen will actually lower your FPS that it's not just this game, that's everything. And so, like, these aren't even notable NPCs. These are just like, you know, when you look around the world and you just see random civilians and whatnot. You don't really need to see it, and it's whatever. Uh, depth of field I have off because when you have when you take screenshots in this game, um, you you could either have it focused like, you know, how my camera, for example, you could see the background. And if I zoom, like, I can make it blurry or not. So, if you want, like, a clear background when you're taking screenshots and everything, you want depth of field off. Far away objects, uh, I kind of like having this on, but I get that, like, people will turn it off for performance issues. A display filter and everything. Reduced snow buildup is actually, like, when you're in towns and it's snowing. So, like, right now, if you're playing BDO and you're just sitting in Heidel when it's snowing, yeah, that's exactly what it is. But, like, probably nine or ten months of the year, the setting doesn't even matter. Um, hit effect is actually a gameplay issue. So, when you, like, you get attacked, your screen will flash. I think that is actually important to have 
especially if you're a PvPer. And uh, shadows are a huge thing in terms of, um, you know, <laughs> gameplay. If you like having everything look realistic versus um, do you care about your performance? I personally don't notice too much of a difference. I do notice a difference, but it's not major enough for me to want to keep it on and take the performance hit in very certain areas. So that's what I have. This is what I would consider a balance between performance and um, uh, being able to play fine, especially while I'm recording and everything. So optimization, I actually see a lot of people playing with this on, especially in PvP. Auto frame optimization and, you know, whether you have it on or not, whatever. So when there was an upscale option, I used to play with the AMD Fidelity FX on and then I used to tweak some settings and I personally think nowadays it's not really as important unless you have like a really high end computer or you just want to see things as realistic as possible. So, will you notice a difference? Kind of. But there's one issue that I had that I actually troubleshooted for many hours is when you go down to Magnus Well, and you know how everything looks like it's glaring and it's very bright, and it's only in the Magnus. It was because this was on, and once I turned it off, that problem literally just went away. So if anyone ever had that problem, uh, you just turn it off and it'll fix. A low power option. Um... If you want to just like max performance, you could turn this off. I have a lot of things going, so I kind of have this on, but realistically, do I notice a difference when I have it off or on? It's a little bit different. So not really. That's why I have it on. But I would, if you are not a content creator, you probably uh, have this off. Hit detection. Um, this is actually a very important setting to have on because you want to see what you're doing, like down attacks, back attacks air and so on all the cc's and everything especially for pvp um and especially if you're like do missing effects so this is actually very good to learn how to play your character it doesn't matter what cl character you're playing or what class um having these on because this game doesn't have numbers like your traditional mmo like when you do dps numbers and parsing because this game doesn't have it it is good to see what you're doing like what cc's and the extra damage output so that's that. Uh, so I'd recommend having both hit and miss options on, especially in high accuracy areas and or PvP. Uh, effect optimization. I think I'm convinced this is like a... Like if you are a console player, I'm pretty sure you have this setting on or you just have like a budget PC or something like that. Same with all of these. Hide other adventures is an option that a lot of people don't actually use. And there's a button in-game, I think it's like Shift F5 or something. And you know how when you go to like Garmoth or something and there's like a hundred people and your game just lags? It doesn't hide other adventurers permanently. It's only when there's a lot of people within one area. Like world bosses, for example. And then it'll just show them as like dots on the map. So you know they're there, but you just can't see them. And so if you have this on, it's okay. It only hides when a lot of people are in one area, like Garmoth, for example. And so it's fine to keep this on 100% of the time I do. And then I believe you can actually just shift F5 or something F5 E, and you can turn that on and off. Either way, it's fine. Uh, camera performance. This is essentially field of view in this game. So if you zoom in, like zero, field of view is zoomed out at 100. I personally would recommend everyone to play at 100 unless you're taking like, I don't know, montage videos or something or screenshots. Simply because the more you can see, especially in MMO type games and PvP, uh, the more you see on screen is obviously better. So I would always recommend keeping this at 100 unless you're doing something very specific where it is like no combat or anything. Uh, camera effects is the intensity of like skills like, you know, when you watch another YouTuber or streamer and they have motion or screen shake and everything, this is the first thing you want to do if you, you know, make videos is turn this to zero because people get motion sickness. And when you do a skill and your screen is shaking like 99% of the time, guess what? They're not going to watch your video. So you have this off if you're a content creator. I'm pretty sure everyone has this off. 
Uh, workers and pets. Um, this is not something you really need to see. Like, yeah, it's cool sometimes to like have your pets shown and like realistically you want to see all your pets flying around you all the time. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it affects your performance that much either. Like realistically, it's probably less than 1%. So like if you have 200 FPS, you might sit at like 199. It, it doesn't make a big deal, but I just personally don't care. And then show worker progress. You don't need to know it. Well, what it does is basically it puts a thing on the map. So if your workers are at an like traveling from somewhere and then they can go back and forth like worker progress. That's that. It, you probably won't notice it 99% of the time, even if you have it on. Hide certain NPCs. Um, this hides irrelevant NPCs. I've never had a problem with it. I've had this on for many years. And yeah, it's like some things you won't even need to see. So it doesn't matter whether you have it on or off. It's just do you want to have higher FPS when you're just running through like various towns. Um, so either way, not a big deal for options. Um, so now I kind of think it's weird how display and performance are kind of not just like one tab because they basically duplicate everything. So this is a big one in terms of like some people get capped at like either 60 FPS, 120, 144, 240 and all so on. Right. So if you want to uncap your FPS, you basically play in full screen. Um, I play windowed full screen. Because one, I'm a content creator and I have to tab out a lot. And two, um, if you have an NVIDIA card, I think you could probably do this on AMD as well, but I don't know how. But basically, you go to your NVIDIA control panel, turn off VSync, and then uh, I think on Windows 11 as well, there's an option like or like it just fixes by default. Um, I don't know why specifically BDO has this issue, but like. If you want to play in full screen window and not uh, FPS capped or like, you know, FPS capped over there at whatever your monitor is, um, then you can just mess with your control panel and NVIDIA or AMD settings and then restart your game and then it should fix. So uh, if you don't want to do it, usually full screen does give a little bit of a higher performance for uh, most things. So like if you're PVPing or you just you're not a content creator and you just want to play and that's all you do it doesn't really matter but i personally tab out a lot so i just keep full screen windows so i don't have to tab i just click, click out onto a second monitor um obviously screen resolution is what your monitor is um i personally think that for a content creator 1440 is a very good option obviously i played in 1080 for a while as well but when you play in 4k it looks nice for you but it doesn't really look great on video because like you see my bars over here, you can barely see it on video. And so like if you're recording 4K and your bars are so small, people are, who are just watch your videos are just like, what is that? What's happening? And there's just so much extra space on screen. Like, yeah, the game looks really nice in 4K, obviously. But um, I kind of try to balance my things for videos as well as uh, both, you know, showcasing and performance so yeah that's a mix i have so playing on 1440s i think is fine 1080 is also fine uh going above that and like people playing on the different resolutions that are black barred and everything that we'll talk about in a bit is kind of weird um so obviously the ui scale it zooms things in and makes them closer but one thing, if you aren't playing on 100, is what it does. It makes these, obviously, it makes your UI scale differently. And then these skills look blurrier, which I don't really like. So, um, Crop mode is when you've ever seen other content creators and they have like black bars or gray bars at the top and bottom. Uh, basically, what it allows you to do is like squish your screen down and have the bars on top and bottom. Uh, it allows you to basically see further out. So, like, let's say you see this little tent right here, right? If I turn that on, um, I would be able to see this tent looking exactly where I am with crop mode on. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you this because I would have to restart my game. And then just having it on for one demonstration, kind of annoying, actually. So, 
Um, it's one thing you could play with. I think it's it's fine if to use, but at the same time, like, you know, I don't want black bars on my screen. I want it to just look natural, right? But people who are min-maxing performance and everything, you will see them have bars on top and bottom. So it's not bad. You actually do see more on the sides, but I don't think it's for me. Uh, display quality, I'm pretty sure this is literally everything we just saw in performance. Um, this is actually one thing that people are probably wondering from me. Uh, what settings in photo filter do I play? So this game actually has a lot of them. And so I personally play on Vibrance because it looks realistic. And so you can play like black and white, dark, night, normal. Um, personally, for most people, I think it, if you don't have any photo filter, it looks also natural as well with none. Or... If you mess with your non-contrast one, that's fine. Um, and then you could change it how you see fit. But I personally like Vibrance. It looks like the most realistic and it should, you know, I personally like this the most. Uh, gamma, brightness and darkness. Um, for certain things, I turn the gamma all the way up. And then I think realistically, I keep it at like zero to like between negative five to positive five but one thing i would say i actually change it on is probably the land of the morning light bosses songashi in particular when you that one's a really dark arena and you actually need to see things so that's the only time i'd like max it out but other than that i just play it like this is what i set everything at by default this is another important setting effect opacity so like let me show you an example so you, let's say we'll use this skill you see how that was the effect? It was a uh, like all these uh, skills that are going off like that. That's what effect effect opacity is. If I turned it down and applied it, it would look like this. You see how it's like dimmed out. And yeah, I do think actually the lower the opacity, the like you know when you're actually in combat with motion and stuff, I think your FPS will be a little bit higher just because it doesn't flash all those like abilities, especially if you're Dark Knight and you have a lot of flashy abilities or like Lawn. But um, I think it does make a difference in impact, but I don't think it's big enough for it to matter. I sometimes think that things are a little bit too bright or not too bright. Let me show you an actual good example. Where is my horse? This is what 90% looks like. And so you see like the ice effects at the ground and this is what it looks like at 100. So you can see all the ice effects and the horses, like the snow effects and everything. I think that's really cool. But then when you're flying and you can't see anything, that's where things are the problem. So I also had this at zero and then you suddenly, you just don't see it anymore. So it's one of those things you kind of have to find a perfect balance of what you think is good and what isn't. Um, if it were, like me not recording and everything, I would probably leave it at like 50 or something just because I don't really care about the effects. But at the same time, I also want to, you know, make things look nice for everyone else. So I keep mine at 90 for the most part. And um, that's pretty cool, right? Camera focus, intensity of the focus effects during combat. Don't care. Um, I actually really like that they have the color vision aid, so like colorblind uh, things. And admittedly, I don't really know what these do. I've seen some people use different ones and I couldn't really tell you exactly what these do for me personally, but I think someone who actually like had vision aid issues, um, these are probably good. So what I notice as someone who can't really tell the difference is like, you see this, uh, black spirit glow around here for me it's red and if you had a different setting sometimes it would be blue or like another color i believe and so uh yeah that's what i think it changes camera graphics i think this is for the like camera shaking effects and everything you definitely don't want that um intensity of all effects is also shaking Blur, you don't want that. You want things to be as sharp as possible. Camera angle, zoom. I, there's one of those things that is just more like... 
personal preference. I personally would recommend if you are planning on being a creator or a streamer, you might want to turn these off. But if you're just playing it for yourself, it doesn't really matter. Screenshots are screenshots. Um, personal preference. Next, we have audio. All of these are personal preference as well. I personally like having all of these on and then I'm actually glad they have a lot of different options. Obviously, this is a Korean game by default, and then they have like localization and everything. So for all of you who actually play in different languages or know it, awesome. And I know a little bit of Japanese by uh, watching anime, but like I couldn't have a conversation with you and same with Korean. So anyway, all of these are the settings I use basically all the time. So that's what I use personal preference. And now let's get into the general settings. These are the settings. If you are a new player, you're probably going to want to actually pay attention to this part. So first of all, quality of life, aim assistance. What it does is let's say you're at a, or like you're PVPing and a person is right in front of you, right? It will like kind of, target your ability at the nearest like enemy so i've played with both aim assistance on and off do i notice a difference uh a little bit but at the same time black desert is a game where aoe's are basically everything so whether you have it on or not will you notice it very slightly yes but most of your abilities are aoe's so it's whatever uh, combat assistance is like a little box around your screen and it'll tell you how do you do this ability. So I think it's very good for new players to learn how to do combos and just, you know, figure out how the skills work on their class. Um, obviously, as you get better and learn your class, you don't need it anymore. But I think this is a good one for new players. Uh, separatable quick slots. This is actually something a lot of people have asked me. Um, so you see here, like I have a lot of separate ones. And you go into your edit UI and you see how there's an eye off and an eye on or open. The closed eye means it's disabled or turned off. And when you open it, when it's white, it means that it is on. So a lot of stuff is, you know, movable. And for the most part, I just keep mine default. Um, the only things I move around are my cooldown abilities. So <clears throat> if you're looking at this, QS is quick slot, CD is cool down, and all your buff lists. This is one thing I've actually brought up before at like the one, you know, as a video partner, I've like talked about things I wish I could see change or sent to the Korean developers to talk about or look at. Everyone knows if you are an end game player, even not even an end game player, if you are max buff or elixir, you can't even see all your buffs. And I wanted them to like make the bar bigger so you can actually see everything. Um, but that hasn't been in the game since like, I don't know, years since the game started. So anyway, for all of you who are wondering how to get more quick slots, you turn that option on, you can move everything. They actually even have the grid thingy and like auto align. So if you, for everyone who has like, you have to have things perfectly, I would recommend turning this on and it's really nice actually. So yeah, that's that. Next, what do we have? We're down in general. Uh, simplify UI. I, I don't really like this one. I get why some people do it, but you know, when you're playing an MMO and especially if you're a PVPer, the more you know and the more you see on screen, is actually better because you know you just want to see everything right so this is why i have my like all the cooldowns on like yeah i could memorize it but or i could just look at it on screen right that's why you you want to see it so i personally have this off i would recommend most people keep this off um i think being able to see everything versus all the important stuff only is you know it's kind of weird just see everything just get used to it it is what it is. Uh, screensaver, when you're AFK, it just plays a screensaver so it doesn't burn like an image into your screen. I don't even think that that's really too big of an issue these days. 
with how much motion is in this game. So like whether you're unless you're like AFK in the spot where like there's literally no motion, it doesn't really matter. Um, obviously, screen shapers are just kind of cool. It just like go, turns off your UI and then spins the camera or something. Auto call mount after a quest complete. I think they added this recently because, you know, like some people don't have permanent horse whistles, so they would have to run back to the horse. This is a very good option. Um, does it really matter for people who have a horse whistle? Not really, but for all of you who don't, I think this is a very good option. So the last option in the quality of life is the fonts. You ever see a content creator with like a different font and everything? They have two options now in the game, but some people have had custom fonts for a long time. And that has actually caused a lot of issues. Not to me, I've always liked the default. Like I just got used to it, so I don't really care about changing. But for people who have had crashes more than regular and have a custom font, I know one streamer that would always crash in a red battlefield very specifically, and they did hours of troubleshooting and they figured it out. It was, it turned out to be the custom font they had, and then they reverted it to a default and then the problem went away. So yeah, there are ways to get custom fonts in this game, aside from the two they give you in game. Just keep in mind, it will probably cause some issues. And if you do have it and you're having issues, that is one thing to check. Um, I've been playing this game for a while. Trust me when I say I know a lot of things. All right, show and hide. Um, all of these are probably on by default as a new player. Is it really good? Um, you see over here, the show name, family name, character name, titles, guild, and everything. I personally don't care. Like, it looks nice. Um, obviously, some people are minimalistic and don't want to see it. That's cool, too. Not a big deal. Um... I think the important ones of here are display others' names, especially if you're a PvPer. You want to make sure you're tracking a target. And, you know, sometimes when they have ghillies, even though it says unknown adventure, that's because they have this on. You always want to see, like, a name above someone, whether it's showing the name or, like, uh, what is it? I think, hold on, I actually have this, but I haven't used a ghillie in years. I think it just changes it. So you see how it's grayed out? To other people, it'll say unknown adventure. To me, I can see my own. Um, let's see, where are we? So I think displaying others' names is important. Show monster names, very important to look at because uh, just being able to know what our priority targets are, that's good. Enemy HP or monsters HP, obviously. Can you see improvement in your grind speed? Good. Uh, the party player member names. And if you're going to have the others on, you might as well just keep this on. Um, rankings are those little icons above your head. So a lot of people are just like, oh, so what do you, how do you get these? If you are top five in any life skill in the rankings, like right here, if you're in, in the top five on a specific channel, you'll get an icon. I'm foreign gathering as of right now. So that's that. Show stacked HP bar. Now this is an interesting one, actually. So if you see in other people's, instead of having one HP bar that goes from like 100 to zero, some people have bars in different colors. So like purple would be 5,000, red is 4,000 and so on. Uh, kind of like... You know, just other games like Lost Ark I've had, I've seen where I just had different colors. It's personal preference. Uh, it also allows you to be able to see how much health someone else has. So if someone has a tanky uh, striker build with like 9,000 health or something, you can actually see how much health that is in different color forms, which I think is the only good thing. But when will this be important is if you are a PvPer. Um... Zone changes, it really just depends on how alert you are. So when you're changing zones, it'll tell you right here on your minimap, but it'll also be like, oh, you're entering a safe zone or non-safe zone. You're entering town kind of thing. 
Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't do sieges. Don't really care. So everything else is on and off. Hide pets, hide fairy. I think they're nice to have, but I personally don't care. Um, one thing to hide is other people's campsites. That you guys have ever done the Termian Park where everyone's fishing in that one area and everyone has a tent there. <laughs> That was one of those things where I'm just like, yep, I don't want to see that. And so I just turned off campsites permanently. So custom HP bar. I think this is on by uh, default. So like you see how I have the default one and not the one that's at the top of your screen. The reason why is because when I first started this game almost eight years ago, we had the default one. So I just got used to it over almost eight years. And that's why I just never changed it. But otherwise, I do think the new one is really nice. So, um, I think if you turn it off, you just get the default, or I guess you have to save it, but whatever. I, I just like playing with the default until they change it or make it different. So, yeah, that's why if you're wondering why I have the old one, it's because I've just been playing this game for almost eight years. Uh, hit detection. This is like the exact same thing we looked at in performance or display. Defense icons. This is very important to have. It helps you learn like what your skills do. So if we look at this picture, the one on the far left with the red like can cross thing, uh, that's an uh, invincibility. Uh, the middle one is super armor. And so and the one on the right is forward guard. So I guess I can show you. I don't know if I can show you right now, but like it'll show you right here. Like basically forward guard is if someone tries to CC you or attack you from the front, you're not going to get like knocked down through the front. But we all know this game is kind of wonk and you can get grabbed through everything. And sometimes people will be like slightly on the edge right here and you'll get CC'd through it. So is it good to have to know? Yes. Um, is it is it something you should keep on? Absolutely. Let's see, what else do we have? Are we on alerts? No, we're on this one. Talked about that before a combo video guide um it's one of those things it just shows you how the skill works and if you like if you're a visual learner it probably helps i personally prefer like actually doing things i'm i'm not really a what is it a visual learner versus someone who learns things by doing versus like if someone just tells you how to do it versus actually doing it uh, skill combo guide, same thing. Transparent mass is if you are doing any sailing content, the sail, you can't see through it unless you have it. So I'm pretty sure transparent mass, unless you're taking a screenshot, it's really a good idea to have this on. Alerts. This is a good thing, and I hope that you guys are still watching this video because in alerts, all of these are on by default. And when you're a new player... For your first five minutes into the game, you're going to see all these things. Player has successfully enhanced X item. This item is getting listed on the market. So here's my recommendation to all of you. Turn everything off until you think you need it. And then once you think you need it, turn it on. Here are the uh, ones that I would recommend uh, actually keeping on. So central market, if there's a very specific item you want, um, the central market one is pretty nice. Uh, notifications. You know how, like, when I had that pop-up earlier, or let's say an item that you want sells or you buy an item, uh, it'll give you a notification over here. Realistically, I don't care about the notification because there's another setting in the audio, I believe, that just, like, it dings. And when it dings, I can hear whether something or sold, but... Either way, one of those things, it just pops up at the bottom of your screen. It's nice to have, but if you're buying and selling constantly, it doesn't, you don't really want to see notifications like every two seconds. Um, these aren't too annoying, but I think they're important enough where you should keep them on. War for PVPers. Alerts are all of these. Um, I 
don't really care about all of these. The only thing I want is if, like we saw it earlier when I had an item on order and then it got listed and they'll let me know. The rest of these. So I used to like having the friend and guild members login thing. It would be cool to see like, hey, my friend logged on. But then because this game has like 32 classes, people are swapping every other second or and if you, if you have like a maxed out friends list that's all that appears on screen so um yeah i turned that off um mortal danger if you're about to die your screen will flash red you know what you can also do just look at your health bar and not die black shrine first vanquisher this is more relevant like the first week it came out versus now um it's like when you were the first one to defeat like Calamity 7 or something on a boss. That would be cool, but I don't... It's whatever. It's like very rarely will you see it now. So if you have it on or not, it's not a big deal. World map. Um, I actually... When you look at guides on, you know, whatever site you look at. And I always just like to have mine on default. So like, for example, let's say you wanted to go see... I don't know, Alta Nova, right? So this is how it looks by default. And then when you look at a guide online and it's like, okay, so here's Alta Nova right here. And, you, and I'm just like, what? I can't. So I'm just like, what in the world? And then they have their thing pointed down at the top and I'm just like, okay, so yeah, here's Alta Nova. I, I just don't like that. I like the default. So it's just right here. Everyone knows what to look for. Everyone knows where it is. Just, <laughs> just default it. So, yeah, that's mine. I just play on default. I don't need to make anything complicated. And then, yeah. Region. Personal preference. And, um... No, I don't think I ever mess with this, to be honest. Miscellaneous. For all of you who wondered how to change your UI. I've left mine on Summer for the past, like, three years. I'm gonna be honest. I think they're all really nice. I just, you know, I don't really look at it enough to care. Uh, navigation type. I personally like the guide arrows more just because let me show you what it looks like. Let's just mark some random spot. You see these guide arrows? So it actually is the most useful of all of them because it, you know, points you from A to B. If you have a guide fairy, you have to get close to them, and then it's like following an escort mission and like any other game. So I don't really like that or marked line, you know. And it, what whatever you do, just don't have no navigation. Because in this game, doing a lot of things and following the auto path is not really recommended. Especially if you're in areas like Dregan or Duvencroon, where you can just hop off mountains and take fat shortcuts that save like five minutes and so yeah once you learn the game well enough uh you kind of know what you can jump off of and survive on versus you know taking the auto path so it's one of those things that's a learning experience but you still do need auto path so whatever you do just don't have just don't turn off navigation and then yeah whatever it is any of them are fine i personally don't like the fairy i just default guide arrows um, navigation on land. So this is, it takes you to the path you want to in the fastest way versus if you choose smooth, it'll take another route sometimes where you don't get stuck on, you know, like an obstacle in the road or whatever. Um, most of the time I'm not really AFK autopathing. So, like, if some I were to get stuck on it, I could just move. Um, but if you do AFK a lot, you probably want to choose smooth first. Same thing with boats. Um, boats are more janky, and I do like the smooth option. So, for anyone who does bartering, uh, sailing and bartering in the ocean, there's a lot of random rocks and debris in the ocean that I think they're clearing out over time. And when you, if you do semi-AFK bartering... You, the last thing you want to do is get stuck on a rock, come back, and realize you didn't make 10 minutes of progress. So this is one of the things I would choose smooth versus exact on. Um, 
to be honest, a lot of these are really irrelevant. Um, trading in this game is probably non-existent. Obviously, we all know that you can't just give someone your armor and gear and weapons and stuff, right? The only thing you can trade is like potions and like irrelevant items. So it's like, it's not even important. I don't even know why they even have a trade option in this game in 2023 or whenever you're watching it. And so whether you have trade on or off, it's not a big deal. Yara request is that card game, mini game. I'm pretty sure they forgot that that existed in the game. Uh, miscellaneous personal preference. Interface, all of these are just hotkeys and everything. Whether you play with a controller, a keyboard, and everything, this is what it is. Uh, I play with a keyboard and mouse, so half of these are irrelevant to me. The only things I would change are like UI hotkeys and action. So if you have extra buttons on your mouse, uh, you can change those around. That's about it. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's 40 minutes and that's kind of wild. I didn't think I was going to spend 40 minutes talking about my settings and everything, but here we are. But with that said, hopefully you guys learned something and it helped you. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm happy to point you in the right direction. And before I head out, I just want to say welcome to the channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Also drop a like if you enjoyed it. I have been playing this game for almost eight years and Back when I started, I didn't have any guides, so I had to figure this out. So I like helping new players, returning players, and people who just like to get better at this game overall. And that's generally what my videos are for here on Black Desert. So I try to upload pretty regularly. So if you did enjoy this, uh, drop a quick like. Once again, hit that sub, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.